In the words of Chandler Bing, can this trip get any more beautiful? Good morning, everyone. Good we morning. rested really, really well last night. That trip from Seattle to Spokane uh, took a little bit longer than I expected, but we stopped a few places and really enjoyed it. Um, the first two hours of that trip was absolutely amazing. Some of the most beautiful driving I've ever done. Yeah. Um, the last part, well, it was dark, which I believe there probably wasn't a whole lot in between then, so that worked out well. And we when got. When we say dark, we mean dark yeah like you can't even see the horizon there is no light pollution or anything out there beautiful to see the stars and so we're looking forward to uh spending a few hours here in spokane today and then we're heading over to quarter lane for lunch uh and then over to whitefish so that's the plans for today let's go Spokane, this is beautiful. It's like an old power plant right here. Downtown Spokane with all the waterfalls. The water's a little bit down apparently uh, during the spring with the runoff from the mountains, all that kind of good stuff. Um, but it's still absolutely gorgeous this morning. It's like 70 degrees already. The water flow is amazing, clear. A beautiful city unfortunately we can only stay here for so long we must continue to move on though I know know much about Spokane um, it does look like they really spend time giving tribute to like parks and places where family can come hang out We've got playground up here that is absolutely massive just across the river from downtown fact that it is first week of October um, and it's beautiful outside 70s the, the jackets have come off we're gonna do some hiking and stuff today heading over to Coeur d'Alene teen's been there for work but not actually been able to explore a whole lot I've never been there so we're really excited about that we stayed at the Centennial um, in Spokane Hotel last night really really nice pretty reasonable as well yeah right on the Spokane River. So if you ever need a place to stay that's close, downtown, all that kind of good stuff. All right, we've just arrived at Quarter Lane, Idaho. Um, and if you can fall in love with a town or a city within 30 seconds of being in it, this would be it. Mm -hmm. It is so beautiful yes. here. People out everywhere. Just a wonderful Sunday afternoon.
So we decided to stop and grab some food instead of eating at the restaurant with the views like this. I realize the wind's probably going to be a little bit crazy because it's a little bit windy out here. But look at that view to have a picnic lunch. Man, I don't know if it gets any better than that. Woo! Mm. Is that delicious? Yeah. To ruck your socks off? Yes, if I had a couple pairs of socks on. <laughs> The Honey Eatery and Social Club was phenomenal. The poutine was amazing. Gravy, cheese, crispy fries, bacon, green onions, all of that good stuff was amazing. Hit the spot. Again, Cordelaine, you are gorgeous. So it's been seven years since I've been in Cordelaine and my friend and I found this coffee shop called Calypso's Cafe right across from the Coeur d'Alene Hotel and it's still here so we're going to check it out and see if it still is good. Coeur d'Alene, you've been amazing teens just getting coffee for us at the road. We got a four hour drive. Unfortunately, we have to leave already. We've only been here for like an hour. That's way too short. You need more time here, I'm sure. Also, I want to take my shot here. If anybody out there owns a home on this lake or uh, will allow us to use it just just briefly, you got to take our shot. Uh, we would like to come stay here. Uh, anyways, uh, this place is beautiful, but unfortunately, we have to get on the road because we got to get to Whitefish, Montana before dark we're already going to be pushing again but again quarter lane thank you so much it's been amazing what in tarnations okay y'all so when i went into calypso's coffee company they were closed but she went ahead and was able to get us a pumpkin pie cold brew look at this thing that cream is so good wrong way so good and their drip coffee was free today. So, and she gave me some pumpkin whipped cream on top of mine too. You know you're close to the Canadian border whenever you have the American flag and the Canadian flag together. I think we're about 20 miles from uh, the border from Bonner's Ferry. just outside of Libby, Montana. And look at this view, y'all. Absolutely gorgeous. So quiet. Look at that water. So clear. <music> This lake right here is Kukanusa or Kukunasa. We may be still butchering it that, but we've been driving along this for the last 20 minutes. This is one of the biggest lakes I've ever seen. And look at that view with the sunset. The golden hour is amazing. Y'all, you just have to experience this. Just listen. often when we have our kids around. <laughs> All 
Alrighty, so we are almost to Eureka. What was that? <laughs> Anyways, we're hearing things we're out hearing here, things. guys. Okay, when there is like no other sound, it's crossing like the lake. You can hear it. You hear things, Anyways. and it's kind of creepy. Okay, so, um, yeah, that's echo. That's Canada back oh. there too. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's Canada. We're kind of losing it. We haven't seen civilization for a little bit. So, um, but the yeah, this is absolutely beautiful, um, and. Uh, We've got about 60 miles before Whitefish, I think. We're going to try to get there before dark, but I think we may take a little detour. Mm -hmm. All right, we'll see. So we did it. We made it to the Canadian border, but of course we can't cross. But um, we if still you, want If you to look come. over here right now, just turn it around, have a look. Yeah, we're right there. We don't want to mess with the uh, um, border, patrol. border patrol. So... <laughs> It's it's kind of like a just a shack there. It's not that impressive. There's not really a whole lot to look at, but still, we're gonna get out and take a picture. We're here. We're here. One day we will get to Canada. Yes. One day. We made it all the way to the border. Now to we the gotta Canadian go. Canadian border. Now we gotta go 60 miles that way mm -hmm. uh, to get where we're staying tonight. But we made it. We did. <laughs> So normally when we've stayed at Hampton Inns, the rooms have been just kind of your regular hotel room. But look at this. This is huge. This is our hotel for the next two nights, base camp, as we go to, well, look at that, right back there, Glacier National Park. Uh, I truly believe as much fun as we've had, the best is yet to come, uh, the pinnacle of our trip starts tomorrow it's been a late night montana your deer game is next level trying to drive at night with all the deer everywhere but we made it safely so that's been a blessing tomorrow morning we're going to try to get up early and get to glacier national park as early as possible so that is it for this vlog we will see y'all tomorrow let's see oh my word yeah they just roll up those are some big bears. <laughs>